ripped to shreds. Hurricane Laura rocking parts of Texas and Louisiana. Rooftops were ripped off homes, trees uprooted. It looks like a bomb exploded. It does. All over the city, it looks like a bomb exploded. The Category 4 hurricane struck early this morning, tearing through towns with winds topping 150 miles an hour. The outer bands of Laura reached all the way to the communities along the Mississippi River. The powerful storm sent this auto zone sign crashing down onto cars in western Mississippi. The road to recovery will be a long one, and the storm is still lingering, impacting more communities out there. So, Chris, what's the latest status on Laura right now? Well, it has been downgraded. It has weakened into now a tropical depression. It is no longer a tropical storm, but you can see, still see the system here in Arkansas, the center of the storm right now. And you know, you mentioned those outer bands. We actually had some outer bands that came through parts of Alabama and then some of those just barely holding together, moving into Northwest Georgia right now with some of the storms with thunder and lightning in Dade and Walker County. Here's the center of the storm. Maximum sustained winds now at about 35 miles an hour. So that is below tropical storm status, but these these bands still have a lot of heavy rain with them, wind, and even a tornado warning, uh, which is right in the southern parts of Missouri, right there in that part of Missouri. Even though the storm has made landfall, and even though it has weakened into a tropical depression, we still have to watch this system because the center of the storm is going to keep moving up in through parts of Kentucky. And then as it does that, it is going to move on over into Virginia. And on this track north of Atlanta, we still have to watch for some impacts with some rain moving in and also the potential for storms. I'll have the latest timeline on that.